All right, so here's another optimization problem. We've got a 10-foot piece of rope. We're going to cut it into two pieces, just like that. And one makes an equilateral triangle and the other a circle. So let's say the first makes the circle. The second makes the equilateral triangle. And how should he cut it so the total area is minimized? So the big thing on these problems is you really need to figure out what's your focus. And it's always about what you want to minimize or what you want to maximize. And just English-wise, it's usually the word that's closest to the word, minimize or maximize. So we want to minimize the area. Now, in order to figure out the total area, uh, I'm going to put a radius in my circle, and I'm going to label my triangle with a height and a base because that's how I figure out the formulas. The area of a circle is pi r squared. The area of the triangle is one-half base times height. But sadly, this has three variables, r and b and h. We need to have one variable, so we're off to do a constraint. So back at the situation where we've got 10 feet, I'm going to go ahead and indicate that we have three b's here. This is an equilateral triangle, remember, so all three sides are the same. And what that means is the circumference, this circumference right here, 2 pi r, is this length. And 3b, b plus b plus b is the second length, and when you add them up, you should get 10. Also, there is a right triangle in this picture. And the bottom is just half of b. So by Pythagorean's theorem, you have h squared plus b over 2 squared equals b squared. And we go ahead and solve each for one of the variables. I went ahead and solved for r here. r is 10 minus 3b over 2 pi. Here, if I solve for h, h is the square root of 3 over 2, b. I didn't show the algebraic work there, but I think we all can uh, do that. Feel free to ask questions on the forum if you have any questions about that. And back to what we were doing. Remember, this is our focus. We are trying to minimize this total area. And we just found formulas for r and for h. So we substitute them in, and we get... This lovely formula here, oh my goodness, that's fairly complicated. And it's not necessarily fun to play with, but if we multiply it out, when I put the, R, the b squareds together, 9 over 4 pi plus radical 3 over 4, kind of put them together, this is my quadratic for my area. And we know that there's going to be a minimum at negative b over 2a. So negative, negative 15 over pi over 2 times this, that's about 2.077. Now go back to the picture. What we just found is that the minimum happens at b is approximately 2.077. We know this length is 3b, so that's 6.23. And the whole thing is 10, so this length is 10 minus 6.23. And that's about 3.77. So that's how we have to cut the rope in order to minimize the total area. 3.77 feet goes to the circle, and 6.23 goes to the triangle. And that's it.